liabilities and shareholders equity. Liabilities and shareholders equity represent the company's sources of funds, such as how it pays for its assets. Liabilities represent what the company owes to others. They must be measurable and their occurrence is probable. Shareholders equity represents sources of funds through one equity investment and the other retained earnings or what the company has earned through operations since its inception. Liabilities and shareholders equity typically consist of but not always are limited to the following components. Accounts payable. This is a company's obligations to suppliers for services and products already purchased from them but which have not been paid. It represents the company's unpaid bills to its suppliers for services obtained on credit from them. The next is notes payable. This is debt or equity securities held by the company. Next we have current portion of long-term debt. This is the portion of debt with an overall maturity of more than a year or the per portion that's due within 12 months. Long-term debt. This is the company's borrowings with a maturity or full repayment that exceeds 12 months. Next is deferred taxes. This is the potential future tax obligations arising when taxes payable to the IRS are lower than those recorded on financial state statements. And last liability is minority interest. This is equity interest in the portion of the consolidated businesses that the company does not own. Now let's take a look at shareholders equity. The components of shareholders equity are normally one preferred stock. And this is stock that has special rights and takes priority over common stock. Then you have common stock par value. This is the par value of units of ownership of a corporation. You have additional paid in capital or APIC. This represents capital received by a company when its shares are sold above their par value. Next you have treasury stock. This is common stock that had been issued and then reacquired or bought back by a company. And last you have retained earnings. And this is the total amount of earnings of a company since its inception minus the dividends and losses.